Hail, Queen of mercy, Mother of Christ in your glory, solace of the repentant, hope of the distressed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of the patroness of the Californias, Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners. Brothers and sisters, let us re rec recall our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, whose mercy is without measure, through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, grant that we may know your loving kindness on earth and come at last to the glory of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob departed from Beersheba and proceeded towards Haran. When he came upon a certain shrine, as the sun had already set, he stopped there for the night. Taking one of the stones at the shrine, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep at that spot. Then he had a dream, a stairway rested on the ground with his top reaching to the heavens, and God's messengers were going up and down it. And there was the Lord standing beside him and saying, I, the Lord, am the God of your forefather, Abraham, and the God of Isaac, the land of which you are lying. I will give to you and your descendants. These shall I be as plentiful as the dust on the earth, and though through them you shall spread out east and west, north and south. In you and your descendants, all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. Know that I am with you. I will protect you wherever you go and bring you back to this land. I will never leave you, and I have done what I promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he exclaimed, Truly, the Lord is in this spot although I did not know it. In solemn wonder, he cried out, how awesome is this shrine. This is nothing but an ad abode of God, and that is the gateway to heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone and that he had put under his head, set it up as a memorial stone and poured oil on top of it. He called the site Bethel whereas the former name was the town of the town had been Luz. Jacob then made this vow, if God remains with me to protect me on this journey I'm making and to give me enough bread to eat and clothing to wear and I come back to safe, safe to my father's house, the Lord shall be my God. The stone I have set up as a memorial stone shall be God's abode the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is in God, my God, in you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, 
who abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his opinions, with his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him, I will set him on high, because he acknowledge, acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If your Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him, and said, My daughter has just died, but come lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him, and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. Jesus turned around and saw her and said, Courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, Go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand, and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. This memorial of Our Lady Refuge of Sinners was instituted in the early half of the 19th century by the first Bishop of California from the mission of, of Santa Clara. Through time, the, the, this memorial was observed and then it somewhat fell out of practice, although many sp individual churches, parishes still uh, celebrated this memorial with great solemnity. Then finally, there was a desire to revive this memorial as Our Lady Refuge of Sinners, as the patroness of the Californias. And so, and that was referring back to when there was Alta California, and Baja California. It was in 1981 when the bishops, the Conference of Bishops, they petitioned the Vatican in order to recognize this day, July 5th, as the Feast of Our Lady Refuge of Sinners, the patroness of California. St. Alphonsus Liguori, in his classical work, The Glories of Mary, writes and kind of compiles 
different things about Our Lady under this title, Refuge of Sinners. And he tells one comparison that St. Bonaventure gives when he speaks of Mary as the refuge of sinners. He says, the, the glorious St. Bonaventure, in order to revive the confidence of sinners in the protection of Mary, places before them the picture of a tempestuous sea into which sinners have already fallen from the ship of divine grace. They are already dashed about on every side by remorse of conscience and by fear of the judgments of God. They are without light or guide, and on the point of losing the last breath of hope and falling into despair. Then it is that our Lord, pointing out Mary, his mother to them, who is commonly called the star of the sea, raises his voice and says, O poor lost sinners, despair not. Raise up your eyes and cast them on this beautiful star. Breathe again with confidence, for it, is, for it will save you from this tempest and will guide you into the port of salvation. St. Bernard continues saying, If thou wouldst not be lost in the tempest, in the great storm, cast your eyes on that star that is Mary and invoke her name as the refuge of sinners. Another story that St. Alphonsus Liguori recounts is told by another saint, St. Antonine. And St. Antonine relates that there was a sinner who was at enmity with God and who had a vision in which he found himself before the dread tribunal after death. The devil accused him, but the Blessed Virgin Mary defended him. The enemy, the devil, produced a catalog of his sins. It was thrown into the scales of divine justice and weighed far more than all his good works. But then his great advocate, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the refuge of sinners, extended her sweet hand, placed it on the balance, and so caused it to turn in favor of this poor sinner giving him thereby to understand that she had obtained pardon for her sins, for his sins. St. Alphonsus Liguori ends with this beautiful prayer to Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners. In it he says, O most pure Virgin Mary, I venerate, venerate thy most holy heart, which was the delight and resting place of God, the heart overflowing with humility, purity, and divine love. I, an unhappy sinner, approach thee with a heart all loathsome and wounded. O compassionate mother, disdain me not on this account. Let such a sight rather move thee to great tenderness and excite thee to help me. Do not stay to seek virtues or merits in me before assisting me. I am lost, and the only thing I merit is hell. See only my confidence in you, the refuge of sinners, and the purpose I have to amend. Consider all that Jesus has done and suffered for me, and then abandon me if thou canst. I offer thee all the pains of this life, the cold that our blessed Savior endured, his journey into Egypt, the blood which he, he shed, the poverty, the sweat, the sorrow, and death that our blessed Lord endured. My mother, abandon me not, refuge of sinners. Never cease to pray for me until thou seest me safe in heaven at your feet. 
under your mantle, blessing and thanking you and praising God forever and ever. Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Please stand. With one voice, let us offer prayers to our merciful Father for the needs of our church and the world. For the church, may she be filled with spiritual gifts and graces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for elected leaders, make Christ guide their hearts and minds in working to protect the dignity and right to life of all, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have been physically, financially, or otherwise affected by the pandemic, may the Lord fill them with his compassionate presence. Let us pray to the Lord. For our community, and especially for Alberto Hauk and his family, for whom this Mass is being offered, may the Holy Spirit stir in us an aversion to sin, and a heart for the Lord, and a confidence in Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they soon see the glory of the Lord and be met with great rejoicing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, which we bring to you with absolute faith and confidence, especially in Our Lady, Refuge of Sinners. Grant all that we need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, receive the gifts of your people and grant that as we look up to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy, we may show ourselves merciful to others and receive your pardon toward us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, and as 
and as we celebrate the memori memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She is the gracious, gracious queen who has herself uniquely known your loving kindness and stretches out her arms to embrace all who take refuge in her and call upon her help in their distress. She is the mother of mercy, always attentive to the voice of her children, seeking to win your compassion for them and asking your forgiveness for their sins. She is the handmaid of your love, never ceasing to pray for us to your Son, that he may enrich our poverty with his grace and strengthen our weakness with his power. Through him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs and their triumphal hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed, jo Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. And with your spirit. Peace with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation.
Let us pray. Lord God, you have given us food and drink from heaven. Grant that we may always praise your mercy in company with the Blessed Virgin and rejoice in her protection. For we acknowledge her as our queen, compassionate to sinners and merciful to the poor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O beautiful for spacious sky, forever waves of grace, for purple mountains, majesty, 